audience. Welcome to the Joel Safari. Ahead is the road less traveled, and I, the Joel, will be your tour guide as we explore together. Today, we resume our tour of Minecraft. And we return to Safari Land. Here we are. And last time we expanded up uh, what the Last time we expanded our our house a little bit by expanding our workroom here. Oh my my trap door disappeared. I don't know where it went. Do I have it? Oh, I do have it. Huh. Let's see if I can put it back. Hmm. Well, I can't seem to put it back. I guess you have to have something to attach it to, and there's ladder on this part, so it's probably blocking it. Hmm. Maybe if I do something like this. I could put it like here. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, trap door. Cool. All right. Well, it's nighttime outside, so we want to make sure all our doors are closed and so bad guys don't come in. That'd be smart, right? All right. So today, let's uh, let's start by doing some crafting. A few things we haven't made yet. Let's make some stuff out of cobblestone. There we go. So let's see here. We can make some stone slabs by taking three pieces of cobblestone, putting them on the bottom. And these are like normal pieces of cobblestone, but they're only half the size of a regular piece of cobblestone. There we go. Got a whole bunch of those to keep us busy for a while. And we can also make cobblestone stairs. There we go. Stone stairs. And you can do a bunch of different things with half blocks and with st with stairs. You can make stairs out of other materials as well, such as wooden planks and uh, bricks and a few other things. But they all have pretty much the same function. Let's go down to our hole for a little bit and play around. See if we can... Uh, hmm. Is that... Isn't that where I used to mine? See if we can get in there and try to come up with a way to make it a little more accessible. Yeah, that's where it is. So I guess I can just kind of come down off my ladder in here. Uh, now what we can do is we can actually use the stairs instead of these ones that we have here. We can just kind of flatten this out. I'm not sure how big these things are. I haven't used them a lot. Let's take a look here. Got a nice set of stone stairs. Let's see how much room they take up. Put it there. Oh, that's not very big. I thought I was going to need a whole lot of room for these things. All right, let's uh, let's see about putting a little more cobblestone back down so that I don't have to make my staircase all low. It looks like I can put a piece here and uh, here. And I, oop, darn it. Yeah, I wasn't ready yet. Yarg. Stairs. Hmm, seems like this is a continual downward process at this point. I want to get up there and fix that part. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, cool. There we go, see? We made our staircase so we don't have to jump up every step. Oh, but the ceiling is too high because we're actually making it a little bit taller than it used to be. There we go. See, now this part, going up and down, is real smooth. I mean, normally you have to jump every square. That's pretty cool, right? Now another way we can do it is by using those half blocks that we just made. Let's t pull those out. There they are, cobblestone slabs. Now these you're going to use to make far larger steps. Like uh, here's one step, and then down a piece of cobblestone, and then you have to put down another piece of cobblestone. And then another step. Uh -huh. and So these make longer steps instead of two steps per square getting one step per square. So you're not actually going down as fast. I'll end up, I'll end up having to eat up all my ceiling in this way. Let's see here. So I think we're gonna... Oh, darn it. That's way up there. Man. Alright, we have to figure this out. Um, now it looks like if we use those ones, our staircase will have to be a lot longer, so we don't want to do that. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Let's eat some pork. Nom, nom, nom. A little bit more. Pork, 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 pork. There we go. 
Stairs. 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 Oh. Darn it. Oh, nope, I got it. Okay. Stairs. 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 Now, ascending is going to be a little bit slow this first time because the ceiling is in the way. As I end up uh, using up some of the place where I used to stand when I'd be going up. We'll just dig out the ceiling as we go. And then anytime we want to come down here, it'll be really quick. I think that's as much as I need to get rid of. Oh, except right here. There we go. Yeah, see, nice and smooth, so you don't have to jump as much. That's pretty cool, right? Right? No. Okay. What else we got here? Alright, what else can we make? Uh, let's see. We can also make some... Oh, yeah. We got some iron here. And we've got some flint from some gravel. We can make that into... Into... Well, it's like this somehow. There we go. Flint and steel. That's a useful thing. Because you can use it to start fires. We don't want to use that while we're in the house, though. Because the house is made of wood, and that, that can burn. Oh, another useful thing we can do with iron is to make... Shears. There we go. Shears allow you to collect leaves off of trees in case you want to place them. And it also allows you to um, shear sheep so in case you want to, you know, you know, get yourself some wool without having to, you know, murder the sheep as much. There we go. So we'll put our slabs and stairs away for now until we need them later on. And we'll see what time of day it is. Oh, sun's starting to come up a little bit. Let's uh. Let's see about getting out there and having some adventure time. Got a little bit of axe left, and I've got a plan for something to do that's going to require a bit. You know what? We got a we got a whole bunch of wood, but probably still going to need a bit more. As I'm thinking, we're going to make some fences, and we're going to go all the way around our house with a big fence. That look really nice, I think. We're going to need a whole lot of wood to do that. And we have a good amount right now, but I think a little bit more would be helpful. Let's see here. There we go. So let's go get us some more wood. Oh, you can hear the monsters outside dying. That's beautiful. Sure. Alright. Do, 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 do. Oh, they stopped making the dying noises, so they're probably dead. And if not, I will arm myself with my sword. There we go. Rah! For Minecraft! Oh. I guess they're dead. Whatever. Alright. Let's kill us some more trees. Come to me, tree. I have brought you death. There we go. So in, in the olden days, there was only one kind of trees in Minecraft, and they were just brown. And uh, since then, they introduced those gray ones over there, and a couple of varieties of the brown ones. So they're a little bit neater. And they made the, the brown ones so they grow a bit bigger over time, and they can grow big branches and stuff, which makes them kind of a pain in the butt to chop. Oh, there's my farm. It's... Uh, coming along. Nothing's really harvestable yet. This is like stage one, this is like stage two, and this is like stage three. I think we have to get to stage either four or five before we can harvest. And then we'll have delicious wheat. There we go. You can farm some other things, too. I, I think you can farm pumpkins and uh, and watermelon. Oh, see, there was a skeleton over here. Now he's dead. I get his loot for free. Yeah, I'll kill this grass that's near our house, because we're going to be putting a fence around our house, and grass is unsightly. We don't want that. you got to maintain your lawn if you're going to be a homeowner, you know? There we go. That looks nice. And we'll get more seeds for farming later on. Cut down a few more of these trees while we're here. Wah. Huh. Wah. Yeah. All right. Now, our axe is starting to get kind of beat up, so we're going to switch to our new axe. Later on, we'll combine them, and maybe we won't forget this time like we did before. Yeah. Alright, that's probably enough wood for now. Let's go ahead and head back in and make ourselves a whole bunch of sticks, because when you're making a fence, you need sticks. There we go. We got a whole lot of wood here. Let's make it into planks. And make it into planks. Okay, now let's See how many sticks we can get ourselves to work with here. Ooh, that's a lot of sticks. A whole lot of sticks. I like it. I like me a lot of sticks. Let's see. I'm wondering how many 
fences we're going to need to build a fence all the way around our house. Not really sure. I guess we'll just get as many sticks as we can, but we'll leave a little bit of wood behind as fuel for our furnaces. Yeah, we won't use up the last bit here. We'll put that away for now. There we go. And uh, we'll all right, looks like our chest is full. Let's actually pull it out and make an, uh, an expansion onto our chest real quick. Because we need enough room in there to get our stuff all stored. But we can make a double wide chest. So first thing we're going to need to do is to destroy this furnace and put it elsewhere. We've got a bigger room now, so we can put it like along this wall, all the furnaces. There we go. It used to be if you destroyed a furnace with stuff in it, it would you'd lose all your stuff. So I'm kind of glad they fixed that. There we go. Get my coal back. There we go. Got a couple of furnaces and a couple of chests. There we go. Got a lot of room now. Put this junk away. Don't need currently. Oops. Need my sticks. Come to me sticks. All right. Now to make fences, you need to arrange six piles of sticks. Six piles of sticks, like so. And then you can get a whole bunch of fences. There's one stack of fences. Oh, and we're out of some sticks. We'll have to split our piles. I don't think we're going to have enough to do two stacks, but this should definitely get us started. I think that's a good amount. Yeah, we got like 90, 90 pieces of fence. That's a, that's a lot of fence. So hopefully that'll that'll keep us going for at least a little bit. So let's, uh, let's put a nice little fence around our house here. Now looks like we kind of built our house here on this up high part. So... We should definitely build our fence at the level where our house is at, not below. So, let's see here. How far out should our fence go from our house? Ooh, trees. Hello, baby trees. Come to me. Yes, I will suck you up with my vacuum powers. Ooh, and a bit of tree I left. Well, we definitely want to include our farm, so we are going to have to come down a little ways. So, let's see here. We've got some dirt. Let's, uh, let's work at the level that the farm's at and just go all the way around the house. There we go. Fill this in a little bit so we don't have to be right on the edge of our farmland. There we go. All right. And uh, let's put our fences into our inventory so that we can place them. And start placing some fences. Oh, that looks more like a stick. Fence. Oh, there we go. Oh, fencey, 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 fence. There we go. Now later on, once our area is all nice and fancy, we can capture us some uh, farm animals and fence them in so they can't escape. And then we can do nefarious things to them of some sort. What if we do double high fences? Oh, you can. Cool. That's, that's fun. Oh yeah, you can't jump over fences though. That's weird. I think spiders can climb fences, but pretty much no other creature can get over them. So as long as we do a good job of lighting the uh, fenced-in area. We won't have to worry about monsters spawning within the uh, confines of my now marked territory. Go fancy, fancy, fancy. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna make it all the way around the house with the amount of fences that we have. We're gonna have to do something about that. Oh, cool! It's kind of like touching itself onto that dirt there. That's fun. Fence, 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 fence. Not far enough out? Yeah. And we'll fence our way over here. Oh. There's a hill in my way. Well, only one thing to do when there's a hill in your way. Beat the heck out of it. Hmm. This fence is not going to provide much use at the, in this area. Yeah, I should have probably thought this out better. Oh, well. Let's keep going until uh, we reach the other side of this hill here. We can just run the fence through it. We'll worry about the logistics later. There we go. There. Awesome. Oh. We're going to want to turn at some point, actually, get closer to the house when you take the lip off of this hill. That yeah, should be pretty good, I think. We'll just come along down this way later on. Alright. So this is going to be, uh... I don't know if this fence is really going to do much good through here. Yeah, we might have to stretch this out a little bit later on, make it into a bit more of a flat land. Oh well. Good enough for now. Good enough is good enough. Alright. A little bit more here. Turn in, because we're running out of dirt. Yeah. 
<sighs> Can't jump over fences. Yeah, we'll go over here. Do, 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 do. Right now, do it again. And it looks like I'm just about out of fences. When I run out of fences, I think we'll call it done for today. Yes. How are we doing? Oh, there's the rest of our fences. Oh, we're so close. Ah. Well, it looks like next time we'll have to finish our fence, which we can just uh, we just put some dirt here for now to keep the evil away. This will be my lookout point. Yeah, we're not we're not putting fence here. This is my lookout point of awesome. I would look out upon the world and laugh because they cannot find me. It's it's made of dirt, but it's it's still kind of cool. A dirt lookout. Oh darn it! Now I can't get in. And let me in. I'm human. I'm not a monster. You know what I'm gonna need? I'm gonna need a gate. Next time on Joel Safari Minecraft, Joel makes a gate. Hi sheep. How you doing? Hey, I didn't bring my shears, so I have no use for you. All right, let's uh, let's get back inside the house. Here we go. Here we go some more. And this is as far as our tour goes for now. We have made it this far together. Please return soon for the next episode of Joel Safari.